So for the diagram, for the diagram on the right show, the diagram on the right shows a wall clock showing the time 10, 10 in the morning. Given that the minute hand is 8 cm, so panjang hand in this one is 8 cm. Find the area swept through the minute hand when the time shown is 10.30 in the morning in cm. So we see here from 10.10 10 to 10.30. So it wanted to know what is the area it swept. So we see here we are talking about the area of sector. So we know the formula area of sector is equal to half r square theta. Where theta needs to be in radian and this is the radius. So we see here we have the radius already which is 8. So, we need to find what is the theta here. So, you see here, we know that one circle is 360 degrees. So, we know one circle is 360 degrees. And we have 12 number which is 12 division. So, 360 divided by 12. So, here we get 30. So, we know one number represent, moving from one number represent uh, 30 degrees. So, 2 to 60 so, 2 to 60 is 4. So, 4 times 30 is, so 4 times 30 is equal to 120 degree. So, A is equal to half R square theta. But theta needs to be in radian. So, 120 degree to radian. So, 120 to radian. Radian is smaller than degree. So, we divide with 180. So, above should be pi or 3.1 for 2. So, here we get. Two point zero nine five radian. So area of sector is equal to half. So R here the radius is eight square and the theta in radian is two point zero nine five. So here we will get sixty seven point zero four centimeter square. So, B, the angle in radian if the area swept through the minute hand is 80 cm square. So, we know that the area is equal to half R square theta. So, we see here it wanted to find the angle. If we have the area and radian, we can directly find what is theta here. So, we can just substitute. So, theta is equal to A. So, everything beside the theta, multiplying the theta, we bring to the left. So, we divide with half r square so the area is 80 and half radius each 8 square so we will get 2.5 radian